Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I have something super exciting for you guys today, and that is that you can now downgrade your iPhone 4S to iOS 6.1.3. Yes, you could do this before, but now it's super duper easy because Apple's actually signing the software. Now, why is Apple doing this? We don't know. This could be just a mistake. If so, it will probably not be able to be done in, you know, a day or two. So do this now. It could turn off at any point. If you've been wanting to do this with your 4S, now's the time. Keep in mind that this will erase data from your 4S, so if you have a ton of stuff on there, either make sure you back it up really well or, or just don't do it. So for some context here, just a little bit ago, Apple completely screwed up and accidentally allowed people to downgrade to basically any version on their iPhone. Not all of them, but a lot. People were getting their 5Ss onto iOS 7. People were getting their iPhone 5s onto iOS 6. It was insane. I don't know what Apple was doing or how this happened, and no one really does. It's crazy. But it happened, and uh, they of course fixed this within I think two hours it was. But one thing that stuck around was the iPhone 4S and iPad 2 for iOS 6.1.3. Now for the iPad 2, you do need to have a one that was made before mid-2012 I think, but any iPhone 4S will work. So this is the same 4S that was on iOS 8, so you've seen it in my collection video. It was on iOS 9 back on uh, when I was doing my living with the iPhone 4S video and stuff like that. You can check all those out, it's legit, this really does downgrade to iOS 6. It totally works. It's super easy. And if it's no longer working because Apple is no longer signing iOS 6, I will let you guys know in the description. Just know that this is really crazy. This might go away, so make sure you do it now. Or maybe Apple will just let it stick around forever. I, I don't know why they would, but you never know. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this. First thing you want to do is plug your iPhone into your computer. And now we'll go to my computer to see what else to do. Okay, so you're going to want to go to the following website, IPSW Dot me. Go ahead and Google it or put it right into the uh, URL bar, your choice, and here it is right here. I'll have the link down below if you're interested. Okay, so you're going to be presented with this screen. You have a couple choices. If you're doing an iPhone 4S, you're going to want to go to iPhone. If you're doing an iPad 2, you want to go to iPad. Now, just to let you know, iPads made in 2012, so any iPad 2s made in mid-2012 cannot get iOS 6. Sadly, mine falls under that category, so I can't do it. However, the iPads that originally released back in 2011, the iPad 2s, you can get iOS 6 just fine. But anyway, going back to the iPhone 4S, because that's the one I actually have to show you guys, you're gonna wanna go to iPhone and scroll down, and here's iPhone 4S. As you can see, iOS 6.1.3 is being signed. Now this might change if you go here and this isn't being signed, then unfortunately there is no way to do this. At least there is a way, but not this way, so yeah. So go ahead and click it and it'll start downloading. Or first it'll open this and then you hit download. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to because uh, I've already downloaded it, obviously. Then we're gonna go into iTunes. So here's my iPhone 4S. As you can see, it's already on iOS 6.1.3 because I did it, but I'm gonna walk you guys through doing it again just because. So there it is, you can see it's eight gigabytes. I'm obviously gonna block out the uh, serial number and phone number and all that. This is all real, I have no reason to lie. Look it up for yourself if you'd like to. So what you're gonna wanna do is shift, click, restore iPhone. Now I've already downloaded multiple IPSWs, but the one you're going to want is iPhone 4, 1, 6.1.3. Go ahead and double click that. So iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 6.13 and will verify the restore with Apple. Hit restore. So as you can see now, it is extracting the software. And yes, I am already on iOS 6, however that makes zero difference. Uh, essentially, if this wasn't working, then it would brick my phone and I would have to uh, restore to iOS 9, in most cases anyway. And what's interesting is you can actually, from iOS 6, if you want to, update straight to iOS 8.4.1, as your iPhone 4S will tell you that's what the next thing is to update to, if you just you know go into general settings, software update or whatever. So you can do that if you'd rather have iOS 8. I think the big thing here is that it's going to be much, much, much quicker than iOS 9. iOS 9 is brutal. So you can see it's verifying it right now. Apple's saying, yep, we're signing this. It's all good. So right now you should see the old Apple logo pop up with a little bar underneath indicating how far it's loaded. It's fine. Do not disconnect it from your computer yet. This will take a few minutes. Okay, so your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. And from here, it's actually quite simple. So just let your iPhone reboot. You can disconnect it from iTunes now if you'd like to, it doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, just enjoy. It should load up pretty quickly. Okay, as you can see here, it is uh, freshly restored to iOS 6. 
so I can go through, do these things, no worries. It's so darn easy. I really hope Apple keeps it this easy to do. It's crazy. If this worked for you guys, make sure you let me know down below. Like this video if you liked the video, I guess. Subscribe for more content just like this. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram. I was tweeting and, and Instagramming about all this when it was happening, so make sure you go follow me there. And without further ado, I'm Josh for 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.